I Cried Genocides by Jalil Mutakim. Did you know failing to preserve our history of struggle is like a leaking faucet hemorrhaging the life force of our humanity into dust? And the world is silent, although the howling cry of the Grim Reaper screeches the eerily gurgling of our ancestors, drowning their dreams, deferred into the phantomless abyss of our ancient history as today's politicians apply bleaching cream in their representation of our collective interests. They will not aid us. He is vying HIV against us and a mass dissemination of us to recapture and rape our land and replace us. Mother Africa is in her death throes and they throw at us nothing but their disgust. Void of trust while activists fuss over whose program is a salvation for our oppressed nation. Manifest destiny is affirmed in the U.S. prisons where the exception clause in the 13th Amendment ensures human slavery continues. The conspiracy is constant, and they continue to collaborate, contriving, conniving codes to penalize and incapitate. To incarcerate at a rate that seeks to annihilate our future in incremental cremations in a furnace fueled by racial hate, Names being replaced by numbers on the assembly line of judicial jaundice as a gavel bangs in racist haste so the victims can be pronounced to a fate of ill consequence. Shipped like chattel to a place where self-imposed ignorance reigns in mirrors reflecting misery undistorted. Genocide, I cry. From a place where my words are mimicked in the cataphony of an ancient echo that has been weakened by the distance from then to now. Our memory forgotten what it is meant to have been a slave. Yet we continue to be a slave to an ideal not of our own, identifying with those who do not have our interests at heart. Genocide, I cry, as one million new African lives are caged with inverted rage, unable to reproduce, we can only deduce it is a plan to ultimately reduce our numbers. Caught in the fraterical blunders of mental death expedited by corporate hype to obey your bloodthirst in incontained rage of a soul not at rest, contaminated with seemingly eons of imposed self-hate. Genocide, I cry, from a tormented soul who needs black soldiers like God needs angels to beat back the beast, to beat back a history of brutality etched across the middle passage in African blood. Battalions stand on guard armored in gold-plated God consciousness, trimmed in platinum black love. The kind of love where my life and that of my family is sacred to you as yours are to me. Black love that moves in uniform as an army of one to restore, preserve, and defend what we know as part of our collective unconsciousness in need of unveiling, a black love that enlightens in a battle for the future, so we will never need to again cry genocides. <laughs>